Pakistanis attack Indians outside Indian Embassy in London on I day Pakistani protesters attacked Indians outside the Indian Embassy in London on Independence Day over the revocation of Article 370 in Jammu and Kashmir. Four people were arrested for a fray, obstruction of police and possession of an offensive weapon. Police said. A photograph showed police carrying away a large curved knife from one of the protesters. The Pak Army calls Kashmir a nuclear flashpoint after Rajnath's remark Pakistan Army spokesperson Asif Ghaffar has called Kashmir a nuclear flashpoint. He further said that Pakistan armed forces are fully prepared to repulse any form of Indian aggression. This comes after Defense Minister Rajnath Singh said India's policy to not use nuclear weapons first may change in future. Singh made the remark during his visit to Pokhran on Friday. Resolve tensions with India bilaterally. Trump in call with PAC PMI and a call before UN Security Council's closed-door meeting. U.S. President Donald Trump told Pakistan PM Imran Khan to resolve tensions with India bilaterally. Following the meeting, India's ambassador and permanent representative to UN Syed Akbar Adin said that Pakistan should stop terror to start talks, adding that revocation of Article 370 in J&K is entirely an internal matter of India. U.S. UK returned stolen ancient artifacts to India on Independence Day after a joint investigation by US and UK agencies. Two ancient artifacts stolen many years ago were returned to India on Independence Day. The artifacts include a limestone carved sculpture from Andhra Pradesh, dating between 1st century BC and 1st century AD, and of Navanitha Krishna, bronze sculpture originating from Tamil Nadu which dated around 17th century AD. We don't need opinion of international busybodies to run India. Indian envoy to and following UNSC's closed-door meeting. India's ambassador to UN Syed Akbar Adin said, We don't need the opinion of international busybodies to run India, Akbar Adin said this after Journalist asked him about international organizations accusing Indian troops of human rights violations. Akbar Adin told the journalist that no organizations have accused India of anything that you're saying.